Masters to give you this possible final game of the series. Well, in time, everybody's growing at an exponential rate as well, and Alter Ego, they're looking like no exception to this here. Well, the thing is, while everybody might be taking steps forward, not everybody takes the uh, same equal amount of steps as Debutol and Berserks are taking every step necessary to take this mid control. They found three opening picks, but Blaze make that ER rather here, finding triple on the site itself. It's all down to 2v1 real quick. It's all on the blaze this time. Elmi more very low. Berserks has given his position away, and by that, he should assume that they have a crossfire from the pillar itself. But they do trade situations, trade positions, and honestly, Blaze can make this happen. He is a very clutch player, but he's going to need to find one to make it happen, to make it really close. He does get the low player there out, Elmi more Berserks on the swing. It's so hard to get somebody when he's swinging you that wide with a frenzy up close. Oh, he spots the shoulder out, but Berserk is biding his time perfectly. The sands are slowly hollowing away here for Blaze, and up close, you're not going to win. I feel like it's a lot of it because teams are still trying to make sense of a lot of things, especially because um, here in SEA, we're getting used to playing each other more and more, and so we're experiencing a little bit of a resurgence, and I think uh, in this age of exploration, I think, is where we're at. Well, I mean... With a final frontier, with a new frontier, it's a land of opportunity. And every shot is open for either of these teams to get into Berlin itself. The final road begins here, but NC Slash are going to end it for Berserks. Round number two. Brings it to a 4v4. Thing is, boom, they've been finding these picks even on eco rounds, but they haven't necessarily been able to convert it into the round win itself, and that's been something that has been biting them in the back time and time again, especially against Alter Ego, who, once again, cleaning up house. I have to agree that if they can take this, then by all means, they are the new kings of Indonesia, but they're going to have to prove that first, and we can't really call the action before it happens. Boomy Sports still deserve the benefit of the doubt, and they're going to be looking to prove themselves as Predator. Blaze, I keep on saying his name the other way around because he's got me topsy turvy. I know this man is prime time, but hasn't been enough to really get them a win here in the series so far. As Blaze finds one of his own, it's a quick two, make that the one before everything crashing down the foundations of this post plant. Not really working out for them. The defuse will come in, seemingly working against them um, in that spot, but booms NC Slasher. That's gonna be a nice double here as he lines up two and is able to get a very significant hold onto that B heaven area. We'll force them out towards A here, and yet again, Alter Ego are making the right reads. They're committing two of their remaining players here on towards this A, but will they expect this push right now? The wall could come up. They are ready for it. That's going to be the Rolling Thunder, and that's going to be catching them off guard, but the flank from Floops Jadur to back up for his team. He breaks the wall to back up his buddy and pushes straight into it to defend the vulnerable. Very heroic effort right there from Flips Jadur and such awareness. Good shot for Elmi Moore, but just unable to get the crucial headshot that he does need. Now, he will be pushing towards A here, and this is a de decent round already from Alter Ego, but can they secure the post plant? Now, Berserk does have the Blade Storm in his hands. That's a good follow-up right there for Elmi Moore to help him secure Heaven. Good flash, but it matters not. Because Elmi Moore gets a triple here. Denied with a judge here. And that's going to be the lockdown to slow down the pace for now. Because it's still a 1v3. They're not going to be too scared about it. They're... Oh, oh they're both... They're both oh. reading each other. This is the double read. This is... I'm telling you, man, this is like super chess right oh! now. The double spray down from Predators, Eeyore. And he's going to be able to get another one, but he's going to book it all the way to A. Nats Laurent here. He does have a wall. He does have eight seconds. He's going to be allowing himself to plant for... It's going to be close, but he's going to get it for sure with one second to spare. And it's going to be still a 1v1. Has a res, fortunately for him. Now he's brought it back here. And of all the players that you could have rezzed, Berserks, that's a great choice. Fortunately for him, he's got the Blade Storm as well up online and on the peak. You're gonna have to be able to res him for now as the body will be watched. They know where Blaze is, so that's gonna be the Sage spotted out. They're gonna be keeping tabs on him to deny that res. A site has already been claimed by a good lurk here for Elmi Moore. He spots one, gets flashed off not too long because 
flips Jadur. He's a little bit flashed himself. Uh, the spike will go to that A site, will fall to the hands. The clutches of Alter Ego leaving us. Kings in their own thrones has been living up to it in every sense of the word and going crazy at it. And wow. he finds a flip jitter. Perfect read, perfect timing, and perfect angle to get it. But Blaze, he's able to find one. A quick trade off from Fat Pangando. Smile and wave on the drive by. It's a quick 4v3 already. Mid control season taken. Boom Esports. Quick to rescind it though. They do have that Eeyore player here on the Killjoy. Specifically on the A site alone. Asterisk answering back to find Debutal. Swings things back to a 3v3. Suddenly there's a chance for Boom. It's all about making the right reads right now. So they know that Elmi Moore's lurking towards A and they've given up control over Heaven. They still have to deal with the Killjoy who's on towards that A site. And that's still definitely not an easy thing to do. That's Eeyore, his spot is very much known. And Elmi Moore's gonna hit another banger of a shot. That's awkward. NC Slasher, they bypass each other in the smoke. LB Morse left stunned after that one. The show has been stopped for him as we find ourselves in a 2v2. No ultimates. We use the lies this time as Fat Penguin. He spots information onto one. He's able to swing. The flash was not good, but with 50 to salvage this half just yet. But Rolling Thunder, no chance. Eeyore never gets out of that. He just gets knocked up and he ends up on MTV. That is Blaze. As well, getting taken down here with a beautiful double swing out there towards mid. NC Slasher is able to respond, but it's still a 2v3 and a lot of information given for Arsal Ego. They're going to be heading towards B. Nobody waiting for them, but they could be at risk of a flank coming in as two players here for the side of Boom. They're going to be working their way around NC Slasher above on Heaven. And they've also got Flip Jitter coming out of the back here. The timing, it favors Berserks. And oh my god, just a disgusting shot. A ripper of a shot right there from Flip Jitter. And boom, NC oh. Slasher. He's just got nothing left in the tank. Except for maybe one more. Can get onto the side. Oh no, he's walked past him. He's walked past Nats. I don't even think he has any idea that Nats is right behind him trailing. We'll get that kill in the Flip Jitter. None the wiser. And LB Moore is going to find oh. one too. E, they are just so clean, man. That's a good shot, though, from Predator. Could get the rifle, but... Oh, he's positioned on Fat Penguin. Penguins, at the end of the day, they're hunters, man. They can, they will hunt you down. Fish in the sea or not. Only weakness is the killer whale. And polar bears. Uh, that is true. And, you know, they might Pets not with. necessarily all fly in the air, but... they None of them part. do. There, there is one that can kind of... There is a flying penguin? I don't believe you now. Because they are not playing like the boom that we know and love here. That's a good... It's a, no, that's not a good. That's a very good. That's a great showstopper right there. But he gets caught off in a little bit of an awkward spot. Fat penguins looking to hold the line right now. It's a 2v5. This aggression, this change of pace here for boom. They've decided enough. We've respected you too much. Now we're going to take the control of this map back in our hands. They want that 7-5. Will they be given it? That's kind of what they need to do, honestly, a bit more, especially, actually more importantly, here on the defensive side where, you know, you might think, okay, we're on the defense, so wait for them to come to us. Well, why not bring the fight to them when you know you've got something to offer instead? Catch him off guard, judge in hand, and he might just win this fight up close. So difficult to deal with, but Fat Penguin once again finding the opener as soon as Elmi Moore does the same on the A side too. They've taken control of it. He has that ultimate to get back into the spawn here of Boom Esports. Oh, wow. And suddenly, this is a very possible clutch. This is a great read right here for Fat Penguin. Oh. He's going to spot two. He only gets one, but still, it's enough. For the meantime here, Elmi Moore. He has been such a dominant player here. The way that he played against Cerberus was absolutely maddening. He's got the camera that spots out one. He spots out both here. But who is going to win the duel? That's going to be the teleport onto site. And the information is given. But he swings out a little bit wide. Still able to keep himself on the spike. Can he get it to half? He looks like he's sticking it. But so many rounds now. He's had that up for quite a while. And because of the fact that he's one of the players that's always getting picked off first. And it's not his fault. He's just been unable to use that this time. This time, however, things are different as the two kills now go in favor of Elmi Moore. Sorry, excuse me, in the favor of Boom as Elmi Moore and Fat Penguin, they go down. But still, yet again, no res. That res has been null and void this entire map here. They still have the lockdown 
to fall back on. And that's going to give them a little bit of room for safety. 30 seconds left. Will the safe play work out in the end, though? Here for Boom Esports, or are you going to try and hunt and fish for that information? Which, by the way, penguins are amazing fishers in their own right. They are. I mean, that's that's how they survive. That's all they eat. That's all they eat. For the most part. With oh. 10 seconds left, it's another great read here. Look at this. Nats Lorant, disgusting yet again. Spike plant. And how is he able to do this? Just the reads. The reads are coming in so, so well here. The teleport coming in from the shadows might be big. But the, the lockdown, it doesn't matter. It's planted, however. It's not planted for them, so they're going to have to fight their way back onto this side here because there's two players. For full sense, but there's only one Thailand rep. That's not a good prospect. But Nats here is going to get completely shut down. They go in and waddle through whatever defense was left as Blaze finds another kill on here. Going to be peeking into the heavens itself, taking down quite low, trying to swing on wide, get the trades off. Zelda is able to shut down Blaze. Perfect flashes to counteract everything going on here on the top of heaven. It's all down to El Mimor. He's going to do, have to do quite a lot to bring this one back. I think it's possible. El Nimor, he, gener he is so good on these clutches. This is one of the rounds where you actually are a little bit worried, even though you got the plant. Even though they know where he is, there's a very decent chance that El Nimor comes out on top. Okay. So a revolver is not a semi-automatic? Uh, no. Okay. Because it doesn't self-load the round. But, okay, let's speak into this round. Speaking of rounds, let's talk about this one. Blaze, he finds a double. Okay, Flip Jitter chiming on in, and it's bound to Elmi more. Now, Elu, if things were to go as we've seemed uh, to have them go, then at this point, you should try to hype down Elmi more, because then it might just mean you can make it. Oh, yeah, happen. Elmi more, he's, he's, ne he's never going to make this happen. I mean, he only's got a. Uh... He's only got a shorty in his hands. There's just <laughs> no, but but honestly, in all reality here, I just don't think he's gonna get anything very much with a shorty. And there's like three people on the other side of this wall here. There's toy with do? him right now. Is that gun just floating up in the air right there? It seems to be. It, I think. Yeah, that's a floating a classic. classic, isn't it? Yeah, that was a classic thrown on top of the barrier itself. Oh dear, that's a disgusting wall. He even spots the feet of asterisk right there has a lot to work with. They don't even dare get close because they know it's so vulnerable. Look at this wall from Nats Laurent. It's so big brain, but all right. He's going to spot oh. three and on the other side of the wall, he meets his demise. Now Fat Penguin is going to get the shot onto one. He's able to adjust to the second one. Can actually swing out to look for more, but he's worried about the presence over towards hell, but there's going to be no one there. Berserks cleans him up. The backup is good enough. The crossfire holds true. Flips Jitter. His position is known here as the tripwire was activated. Probably might not even get onto site here, depending on the timing of Elmi Moore. He misses it. Instead, Elmi Moore is going to play the patient game. Going to call for the retake. Wants to play it safe, and that's the smart thing to do. Yeah, and at that point, you know, he might not assume that Elmi Moore is already there because he would have probably assumed, like, as soon as I hop down, he'd peek me if he was on the rounds. If he time, a lot of it has to do with just the picks going alter ego's way. Not gonna be one for that though, because Boom have found a very very nice double kill here. They might not expect Fat Penguin, and they don't. But still, the kill goes. There's has to be something that they can really change up but maybe aggressively take him in you know that's something that worked out for boomy sports a couple of rounds back here mm. and sure it might be a little bit not a cheese strat but something that you can't really reproduce a lot or recreate a lot but at this point one round is going to be massive the closer they get and that's exactly what they do yeah they even commit the wall just to be able to hold it Elmi Moore they've swapped him over to B and thus far he's found one he's able to swing around the corner and he gets a double here but there's still a lot of work you to be done the raise available 
for Blaze, and he gets up NC Slasher. Natsloran is able to take down Asterisk, and from the corner, Fat Penguin gets him out towards heaven. Shots will be fired in exchange with Fat Penguin in this corner, unable to get anything, and neither will Tebatol as flips Jadur. The double entry for him, almost the triple entry, but it's Elmi Moore. The neural theft to be going before he goes down, as well as the kill. So that's going to be a load of information, but with only one player left standing, it's Berserks to go down as Blaze. He's able to take another round for his team, and now they find themselves two rounds away. We are starting to get this game. It's been a little bit of... It's taken a little while to heat things up. But this is going to be the turning point, black and blue. This is when the teams really start to have at it. And this is going to be an equal round for Alter Ego. Boomy Sports could find themselves at 9-10. to 10. Illustrato, this is where Playoff Boom comes alive. This is when they turn up another gear. You might think there's only six gears in the system. Well, they've got a seventh, I'm going to tell you. That paddle is going to waddle on the way through and you know, try and make something happen here for the meantime. Nats and the Marshall and the rest of them only got pistols to work with. Eeyore going to shut down the push here, finding a second asterisk doing the same. But Tebotol will eventually confirm the kill up close with a right click of the pistol. So 2v4 still, man advantage heavily in the favor of Boom. By all means, this should be a round that they should be able to secure. And Tebotol being found here by Blaze. Fat Penguin, he's got the hope, a chance, a sliver of a... Say B side or A side can be taken a little bit more easily. It can be retaken just as easily here. But look at this. Berserks, he gets an opening pick, and that's a nice showstopper from NC Slasher. He gets one as Fat Penguin falling to the ground. No penguins cannot fly. Not here, not in split, as it's a 2v3. Tebatol, Berserks, they're going to have a lot of work to do. They do have the rolling thunder. They will be utilizing that for now. Oh, it doesn't go through. Doesn't all go all the way through. So that's going to be uh, just a tiny bit of time. But it's enough for Berserks to start and get into position. There's going to be a tough retake. Especially with the Operator in his opponent's hands. Now, they're going to pass it off here. The Operator will go into the hands of Tebotol as he throws out this Rolling Thunder. Good dash in, but it's going to be straight in. They have yet to really get the good lead ever since the opening map. The opening half of uh, map number one. But... Now they've tied things up and they're looking to re with here, but at the end of it all, Berserks gets away with one, gets away with two, and he's now able to fall back. A little bit premature on the entry here, but still they manage to find one at least, and that's going to be even more as the Lurk coming up from heaven is able to find some success. Now it's a 3v3. Eeyore, he's up close, and he loses that duel to Nas Laurent back into B main. The spike is down, so they're going to have to be a little bit decisive about where they want to push. Tebatol is good for one. Tebatol gets traded out, but it's still a 1v1. It's Nas Laurent, he did go down in the end, and he taps away to be anywhere that they can head on to. But can they get the frags? Doesn't look like Elmi Moore holding firm, holding fast here, and folding strong as he gets another one onto Andy Slasher. The rotation denied here by Nats Laurent. And Asterisk looking like he doesn't really have much left in it. He will pick up a gun. In this 1v4 with six seconds left, I just don't think it's possible. We're going to see 11-11 here. And this is the man want to fight for. And these angles right here, Berserks, will he get checked? This is dangerous. False sense of security provided by the bot, by the turret. But instead, it's going to be awkward. Yet again, as Nats Laurent looking to push for information, this signals that b site is weak. It's vulnerable. No res available. The Neural Theft is, however, in a couple of other ultis as well. And boom, they have a res for their own team. But I don't think it's going to happen for now as 4v4 does commence. Fat Penguin, not going to get checked in this corner for now. He's going to be a linchpin here. He's, he could be absolutely massive, but Berserks, he finds a pick. Shots exchange here. Fat Penguin looking to swing off the back of that paranoia. Now Berserks trying to get onto that side here, and that's going to be up close, but right click does not connect. It's Boom that does. They land it all, and it's El Mimor here. Neural Theft coming out. 1v2. Knows where one is, but that's going to be the shrouded step to help him get out of that position here. Taps away at the spike. Can't land the shot on time. They've met each other. Eight in the official circuit. Oh. And Blaze just completely opening up the site, blazing a path into it, and they're looking to end the series 13 to 11, possibly. That will land to turn the channel to a different show because the showstopper from NC Slasher has made things a lot more difficult for AE. That just could have been the dagger for this map number two. A big turnaround here, and this is looking like we're gonna go to game number three here, unless Tibetal and LV Moore 
find something special find a miracle and it looks like they're hitting shots they got information on where blade ear is they landed here but in a 1v2 it's elmy Moore has to come up with nothing short of the most amazing plays that he's ever come up with here the double peak the swing and almost gets it elmy Moore. he almost had it but missing the very last shot at the end